your community is brought to you by Carriage Crossing Senior Living. And there's a great opportunity in the community this weekend to learn all about pedigree cats. Here are the details on this year's CFA Cat Show. Our members of the Illini Cat Club, Mary Oth and Jim Worsh, as well as a very beautiful cat. Introduce us to our friend here. This is Bacchus. Bacchus is a rare breed cat. He's a Havana Brown. Um, he, there's only about uh, 1,500 of these guys in the world. 15 breeders, so we're preservation breeder, very much into preserving this beautiful breed, which is actually English. Oh, and his eyes are so pretty with that nice emerald green there. He's just checking everything out. This is just one example of cats that are going to be featured at this weekend's cat show. So what do we have planned? Well, what we have planned, and this is about our 30th annual show, and you've, we've sort of been under the radar for a number of years, but we're coming out with a bang this year. So our show is going to be held at the old Hancock Fabric Store in Market place just down by the new Ollie's and Kohl's yes. and so it's a it's a space that we uh, were renting just for the week just to get so we can make sure we still have a presence of pedigree cats in the area we're expecting oh somewhere between 120 150 cats be entered and or they'll be there and uh, one in particular that I think people will be interested in is the Lycoy the Lycoy is a new breed relatively new breed of cat and it's called the werewolf cat. People will remember what that, will remember having seen what that is all about. And then the other thing is we are truly an international show this year. We have an entry that is here from Germany, a brown tabby American short hair who came over to get points. So there's the pedigreed portion of the show and then there's the other components of the show which include a cat Cats in Costume Contest. <laughs> and that's going to happen both days, uh, each day about noon or so. And then. We're, we're seeing a picture here oh, of a cat in go. costume. Looks yes. like a little Viking um, well, we've got here. That's a Norwegian forest cat oh. in its traditional headwear. Oh my So uh, if you were a human, it'd be traditional. For a cat, not so much, but yes. <laughs> So there is the cat costume contest, and it's at noon each day, different judges. And then we have uh, four judges rings each day. And then we have an educational booth talking about aging cats. And we have a meow mall where people can come and shop. Wow. Well, it sounds like you have a lot planned this weekend. Jim, tell me a little bit about the Illini Cat Club, because you all are hosting this event. We have been hosting cat shows for almost 30 years. We missed a couple of years in between, but I think if we total it all up, it's around 30 years. Wow. Um, the community has always supported us very well. Um, the club is small, but this is our production every year. We usually give back a lot of any proceeds to uh, organizations that do rescue and uh, that kind of thing with cats that have less than what we have for him has a home. <laughs> well, you have this beautiful pedigreed cat. Is that a requisite, prerequisite of being a member of this club or can any, any oh, no. cat owner or cat lover be a member? Cat lovers, cat owners, absolutely. You don't have to show a cat to be a member of the club. We have several members of the club that did show or maybe never showed but are still active in the club. And we really do encourage household pets as well. So there's there's a whole lot of different components to the show. And even within the purebreds, there are different types of cats. Like there'll be a ring for neuters. We allow, we allow neuters with the cat show people. There'll also be kittens, and that's always very favorable. Very, very popular. I'm sure. And Vodka shows in championship because he's intact. So he is like going up for an award, right? We look is that how that. it works? Yes, that is actually how it works. There are points, it's a point system where each cat is judged against points that are for their breed. So it's one to 100 and each part of the breed that we're looking for in each individual, they're judged against that. That's what the judges are judging. They're really not judging one cat against another unless it's the same breed. Okay. 
So it's kind of like best in show for dogs, but this is right. for cats. And one thing that will really help people when they come is look at each ring as though it were its own individual show. Because every cat will show in each individual ring. Every judge will uh, make their decisions and, and awards within that ring. Very good. Okay, so remind everybody it's this weekend. It starts yes. tomorrow on Saturday. It is 9 to 5 tomorrow and 9 to 4 on Sunday at the former Hancock Fabric uh, store at Marketplace. And family friendly. Oh, very oh. family friendly. In fact, we have a $25, I think it's $25, uh, family pack where you, uh, for up to four people can come for that price. And then we are registered, we are so, uh, affiliated with the Cat Fanciers Association. So that's where everybody gets their points. And uh, we'll have entertainment like this. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's really a great opportunity for people to come out and ask questions to learn about pedigree cats. And But as, ju as Jim said, we have a whole category for household pets where yeah. you don't have to be a pedigree cat to compete. Well, very good. Well, we wish you and Baca here um, <laughs> best of luck, best of show there this weekend. And um, thank you for introducing us. It's going to be a great weekend for um, some checking out some very cool cats. If you want to learn more about the Illini Cat Club and this weekend's show, be sure to give them a like on Facebook there that you saw on the screen. And you can check out and learn more at CILiving.tv.